And while the flooding is causing traffic headaches throughout the area, others are finding themselves drawn to the water. KDKA's Lauren Linder talked to some who traveled down to the area to take a closer look. From the North Shore, you can get a good picture of the flooding in our area. Many people are stopping by to take in the site and see Pittsburgh landmarks like Point State Park buried in water. Oh my goodness! As Valerie Stout stood at the North Shore looking at the Ohio River, it took her a minute to realize what she was seeing. That's what I came over here to see, the point, and it's not here. Point State Park, barely visible. The only marker being the outline of the fountain. The rest was under several feet of water, appearing to be part of the three rivers. Wow, that is amazing. But it wasn't just the point. I'm like, well, where's everything at now? Three Rivers Trail also flooded, with the light poles and trees slightly sticking out. Water even submerged the boat launch leading up to the steps at Akrasher Stadium, where you could see just a bit of the map. The Ohio River reached levels we haven't seen since 2005. It's insane just how high the, the water levels have gotten. Brendan Sieber was hoping to show his friend from out of town the different sites of the city. I show him this like really picturesque, the, the beautiful fountain where the rivers meet and everything. Instead, he gave him a tour of the sites underwater. I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was this bad. And like the others who stopped by, they made sure to take plenty of photos to remember the moment. It was definitely wild. I mean, I didn't realize that much water had fallen in the last few days. And to see those roads closed out downtown and to come over here and really see the, the impact is, is quite interesting. Eventually, as these waters recede, there will be another site to see, the mess left behind to clean up. For now, reporting from the North Shore, Lauren Linder, KDK TV News.